What's going on guys? Tim back again with another video. Sorry about the noise. I got my garage open. We're doing a couple things to the car. Just changed the oil again. But today's video, I got a couple new sets of wheels I want to show you guys. Just share a little update on the car, at least with wheel wise. So I sold the CE28s that I had. Those were the club racers, 18 by nine and a half uh, plus 38. So now we moved on to a set of Muteki track lights. They are 18 by nine and a half plus 45. They have 275, 35, 18 R660s. R, that's a turbo. RTCs, RT660s for the track. They're 200 tread wear. So that's kind of my track setup slash autocross. So hopefully we can get out and do a couple of events this year. We shall see. We've been really busy with work and other things in life. So we got that set. And then I have a new um, show set, I guess you'd call it. Uh, they are RG D2s, Advance, 18 by 9.5 plus 35. So a little bit more aggressive offset. They're black. Uh, those are fitted with 265, 35, 18 of the new RE71 RS. So I'm excited to try those out. I had the original RE71s before and they're awesome. So I'm excited to try these out. I've heard nothing but good things. So let me show you these. I'm gonna take off the Mutekis that I have on right now. I use them for a road trip and we're gonna wash them up a little bit, get them cleaned up so I can put them downstairs and I'm gonna put the new wheels on. So let's check it out guys. So here are those Muteki, they're bronze. They actually look pretty good. Um, I bought these used with the tires for a ridiculous price. One of those things where you just can't really pass up just because these tires are like $1,500 alone for a set. And I paid half that for the wheels and tires. So I think there could be a good track setup. I had no issues, no weird shake or anything on my road trip. So let's get these taken off. I got the lug nuts pulled off on all of them. Let's get these taken off, give them a little wash down. spray down a little backstory on the uh the rg d2s that i bought i was actually driving down to florida to see my parents i took the type r gonna make another video about that but um do a little road trip in that it's probably about three thousand miles total so i was driving down there and those wheels came up for sale in kentucky so i made a little pit stop in kentucky to buy those wheels and also, just as a side note, you can actually fit nine wheels and tires if you take the rear seats out completely. Fit nine set, nine set, nine wheels and tires, mounted and balanced, everything. That Type R without taking the front passenger seat out, so you could probably fit another two or three up there, which is kind of uh, insane. But yeah, it was definitely uh, an interesting road trip. So. If you guys have any questions about that or you want to see a video about how the Type R did, just let me know. As they're spraying down this last one, uh, I'm definitely thinking about making a video uh, comparison between these RTC 660s and the RE71s. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. I think that'd be a pretty good comparison because they are slightly different size. Uh, these are 275s versus 265s. But uh, that helps because these this offset on these wheels is a little bit higher. So it gives a little bit more space without having to pull a fender or anything. So the fitment is still good. But if you guys want to see that, let me know. Let me know if you like this style of video too it's a little more uh a little less formal a little more informal but uh, i feel like i just want to pump some content out for you guys and uh i kind of enjoy making it so why not just share it? it's pretty simple i don't put too too much effort into making the videos because i don't have time for that and i know you guys like watching or some of you i get some crazy comments sometimes that are hilarious and i'm like i really don't care enough if anyone knows me in real life, they know I don't get bothered by much, so I just think it's funny. 
Not bad for a quick little rinse. So we're gonna let these bad boys dry so I can bring them inside. Let me show you guys the new wheels. I also need to wash my car, but I'm going on a cruise today. So we're gonna send it anyways and then wash it tomorrow. All right, so these are the new wheels. Advan RGD2, a little bit of a mouthful. These are uh, flat black or satin black. No, I wouldn't call them flat. I'd say they're like a satin black. I got the matching black center caps. And like I said before, the Bridgestone RE71s, RSs, the second gen. He had them labeled, but I bought these used. He sold his Type R. So I got to figure out which lug nuts I want to put on too. I got a couple options. So let's toss these on. We'll get the car backed out. You know it's gross. We'll get a final shot of what it looks like. And let me know what you guys think of the new wheels. Also, if anyone wants to make a donation to a bigger garage, I'm accepting large sums of cash and or check, Venmo, uh, Zelle, whatever you got, just send it my way because uh, I need a bigger garage. That's what I'm working with. I make do with it, but a little tight. Can't really complain. I also have the car parked like an idiot, so I'm way tighter on the left side here, but I have my bike over there. All right, so here are my three sets I gotta choose from. These are just Ray's. These are the ones he gave me. They're monster lug nuts. Open-ended, which I'm not a huge fan of. And I have these Project Kicks that I got with my C28s. I might run these because they got the inside lug, so less likely to scratch the wheel. These things are kind of smoked too, but let's toss these on. So I went with the Project Kicks. They look snazzy. God, I can't wait to see these. I think I've had one too many sets of wheels already, and these are 100% my favorite. Not a huge fan of black wheels either, but with the small spoke and the actual design, as you can tell, a little bit of concavity and a nice little lip. These are really my favorite. I came back, came crawling back to these. I did three coats of the G Technic G5 wheel coating, face and the barrel. I just brought these out for two seconds and they're already dusty. It's pollen season, baby. Yeesh. Make the brakes look big. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Here she is before we drop the car down. Are you guys a Volk fan? Or you guys like the Yokohama Advan wheels? I'm starting to like these a lot more than the Volks. I don't know, there's just something about them. Everyone's got the T37s. Also, like nobody runs these wheels on Type R's. I've seen maybe five to 10 max on Instagram with these wheels. So they are a little bit different. Everyone's got the T's, the C's, uh, I don't even know what else. Everything in between, but these are definitely a little bit special, at least in my opinion. Don't know why too, I feel like they're ultra slapped on. Look at this. It just looked real nice at any angle. Beefy. So it looks a little bit high right now, but that's just because it's the first time getting on the ground. So once I move it, it'll definitely sit a little bit lower. Let's see how the front looks real quick. As you can see from the top, the plus 35 definitely gives it a little bit more poke. I actually ran same spec wheels with R888s, 265s, and I had no issues. I mean, you definitely rub a little bit, but God, I missed the black wheels. All right, so it's actually the next day. Went for a cruise yesterday with these new wheels. Went to a Cars of Coffee this morning. Here's kind of an overall shot. Someone's beeping. What you beeping at, buddy? Anyways, a um, couple of quick things before I end the video. These RE71s are a little bit louder than the RT660s. So if you guys are looking for a sticky tire that's quiet, I would say go with the 660s. Um, but 
they're very sticky, I will say that. I hooked up pretty well in second. I put some corn in it yesterday. So we're pushing over five on the corn, so definitely, definitely feeling pretty nice. All right guys, so we're gonna wrap up today's video. If you like the style of today's video, just let me know. Something a little different, I'm trying to switch it up. I gotta bring some more content, I've been slacking. So I'm gonna pull the car in the garage. Um, if you guys wanna see anything, just let me know. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.